know uh, Mark believes it is, which um, I'm a little surprised that uh, that could be a big issue. Um, I'm very fair. Uh, so I get the job done. I'm proven. I know what I'm doing. I know when to hire people and when not to hire people. I, I've, I've, uh, I've taught men in the highway department, different trades. A lot of them knew it. They just were never allowed to, to prove that they knew them. Uh, I, give, I give them a chance to grow. Um, I'd love for guys to step up and show what they can do so they can make more money. I have no problem with it. Um, I'm a very, I'm very open-minded, and um, I, I don't really think I need to say any more. I've proven myself. So, if you want to continue to get your leaves picked up, your snow plowed, uh, if there's other issues with uh, within uh, the town that need to be addressed, I'm kind of the go-to guy. They call me to get the job done, and I don't care what anybody says; they can't dispute that. Uh, you can ask the town supervisor. You can ask anybody. I, I got you. Um, I am the man to get reelected to keep this community moving on a path that it's moving. And just to clarify something, we're not behind. We're getting done what we need to do. We're just doing more. That's why there's certain aspects that are only getting uh, a certain amount completed. But it's enough to to be completed to get the money that we need to get. So please think of me when you go in to vote and um, I look forward to, uh, to what comes next and whatever happens, happens. I'll stand by it. All right. Uh, Mr. Dorsey, you have the last word. Sure. So I don't know John by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I'm not sure why he thinks I'm a politician by any stretch of the imagination either. There's a process. This is the process. Um, I'm following the rules of the process and doing what I need to do in order to get elected. Um, in regards to just doing enough to get by, um, that's his, his way of, I guess, doing things. We have a budget for paving, which is around $800,000. We spent about 300 and north of 300000 this year. That's enough to get our CHIPS funding. It is enough to get the CHIPS funding, but it's not getting the roads done. Uh, plain and simple, we've been paving anywhere from 12 to 15 miles, and now we're doing six miles last year and almost six miles this year. Not the way to do business. Um, sidewalks are great, but we can't give up one to do the other. Um, for some reason, John questions my background and what I've done in the past. I have spent 26 years as an operating engineer and worked all over this country doing uh, jobs that are, are on a grand scale compared to what we do here in town. Um, not saying what we do here in town is, is minuscule or small by any means. It's very important to the community. Um, I can do every aspect from being a laborer to running the machines to driving the trucks. I've done every, every part of it. Um, which gives me a little more of an insight to working with the guys, being part of a team versus trying to be a leader and I can do it, call me, I'll get it done. I'll be part of the process. Um, come November 5th, I hope you guys uh, vote for me. So thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Hey, real quick, one second. Uh, two guys that serve. Can you guys stand up real quick? You guys serve? In the military? You guys serve in the military? Did you, did you guys serve in the military? Can you guys stand up for a minute? Okay. So, so going back real quick to um, the process, right? People like them who serve in the military, this is why we have this process. Very simple, right? They kind of fight for our rules and our, and our rights to vote, okay? Freedom of speech. All that small stuff is because of those guys there. Thank you. All right. Let's give both guys a round of applause. We're going to We're going to take a 5 minute break if the Tom Board candidates will come up and we'll get established and we'll be right back at it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs>